What up, chooms? Thank you once again for clicking on another video of mine. And you know the drill is we start out, want to give some love to this video sponsor, no stranger to this channel, because once again the doctor is in, that would be Dr. Squatch. It is true that I use their soap and I love their soap. Dr. Squatch truly is changing the way men approach hygiene by providing high-performing natural products that make you feel great, smell great. They don't use those harmful chemicals that some other soap companies use in their soap, but they don't just have soap. They have soap, deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, a regular full shower routine here. Also, beard oil, because what is the claim of clean if your beard doesn't smell like a tree? I'll tell you. False. It does smell nice. I like pine smells. It's a thing. And if you're not completely satisfied, Dr. Squatch has a no questions asked money back guarantee. You know I love me the peace of mind that comes with a money back guarantee. So click the link below and use my promo code DSQJohns and new customers can get 20% off of an order of $20 or more. And thank you once again to Dr. Squatch for sponsoring this video. I do appreciate it. All right, now that we've talked about getting clean, let's talk about the dirty. <laughs> I could have said that dirtier, but you know, let's. So X is a new film directed by Ty West, also an A24 film, which usually it's saying the studio, whenever an ad or a trailer is like, from the studio that brought you, I'm like, it's <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Usually I can just be like, you mean Universal? It's what does that mean? Two studios are worth noting, and that's Marvel Studios and A24. Which is funny because they're kind of the antithesis of each other, but you list either of those and you kind of know what you're in for, generally speaking. Fingers crossed you're in for some surprises, and with X, definitely was. The premise of X is 1979, a group of people get together and they rent out a place on this old couple's farm in the name of making a porno, not just any porno. They want to make a classy, artsy porn. They want to elevate the porn genre. And then it turns into a slasher flick and they'll start dying in crazy bloody fashion. But hearing the premise, just saying it out loud, this movie could have slipped into satire so easily. And although you see homage in this film, it never comes across as satire. I actually found it to be a really unique movie going horror experience. Also, A24, you know it's slow burn. I feel like A24 is one of the studios, that, like it has that in its contract. Someone comes to them with an idea, they're like, all right, great, great idea. Uh, are you gonna make it a slow burn? Yes, great, here's your budget. I just, I say that for the people that might be like, tits and gorb, I just sign me up. I mean, it's kind of how I was. Now the cast does a great job in this movie, funny enough. Who is this? Noah. Wow. But you got that X Factor. Yeah, that's not Matthew McConaughey. I just briefly saw the trailer. I was like, okay, I've seen enough of the trailer. I'm gonna go see this movie today. McConaughey's in a movie, crazy. I stopped the trailer before I got a good look at, oh no, it's not McConaughey. That's actor Martin Henderson. Because of that experience, there's a part of me that wants to be like, I guess he's the guy you cast when you can't get McConaughey. But that's just a disservice because I thought he was great in the movie. I thought everyone was great in this movie. Everybody nailed it. That was not meant to be a pun. You get your head out of the dirty gutter while I talk about the movie about porn people getting slashed up. It mainly revolves around Mia Goth, also Jenna Ortega. I've seen her kind of rise up in the horror movie ranks. She was in the new Scream. Also the kills, I guess I've talked it up a little bit. I mean, they're gory, it's bloody, but in realistic fashion, that's what makes it horrific. I've seen gorier bloody things on screen, but there's a lot of disturbing imagery in here. I guess that's that's where the movie excels. It's not that it's bloody, it's that there's disturbing shit, not just revolving around blood. And a lot of it has to do with the message in the movie that the movie's sending out, that the audience is taking in, that has to do with the contrast of age. Age and regret and doing things when you're young that you can't do when you're older. And there's a whole layered thing going on here that really surprised me. I just didn't expect it. Porn and blood also here's some profound shit that I didn't expect it. Now beyond gore and horrific imagery is the movie graphic. Sex wise, they are making porn after all. Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought it was riding the line of what rated R can do and can show. Like it's still rated R, but in the video rental store, like teenage Jeremy would look at the top shelf like, oh, X, I heard about this. Hold the VHS like I can feel the skin <laughs> through the plastic. This is actually Manhunter. <laughs> I have a whole collection. I found out that there's a VHS community called Tapeheads. Didn't know I was part of anything like that, but one can say I am. But right, it kind of feels like it'd be one of those movies. Then I'd watch it and be like, oh, heavy movie, oh. But one of the more impressive things about this movie is how it weaves the theme and imagery of making porn into some of the horror elements. Hard to explain, but it's in here. But in wrapping this up, in the end, X, I really enjoyed it, I dug it. It's the product of what a creative mind can do with what sounds like a ridiculous satirical premise on paper. For instance, it has dark comedy in it. It's those moments where you're like, 
oh, that was really clever. Kind of, am I the only one who finds that funny? I might be, maybe, maybe it's not funny. Maybe it's just like, at this point, my soul is so blackened, but there are things I found funny. The excellent tension, great performances by the cast, great violence and gore payoff in the last act, though it's more because it's realistic is what makes it horrifying. And legitimately dealing with deep themes makes this a movie that uh, it's one I'm gonna remember. I thought it was a disturbingly good time, no alcohol required. But again, not for everybody. Like if you, if on the weekend you go out there like, hello. Have you heard the latest about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? This might not be for you. You just gotta know that. All right, so X, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Did it surprise you? Did it horrify you? Did you like it? Are you never gonna watch it again? Did you even know this movie came out? Whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more. <laughs>